every child knew about the Sky River. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces. What could have brought them to light? This Emperor, Isengrim III, had once been kind, but he'd gone mad. And now he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the Lost Gods. Had he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renardo could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. As he set foot on the island, Renardo could not help but feel a tinge of guilt. He'd left Lapino behind. He hoped the Mad Rabbit had somehow escaped the ravens. He hoped they hadn't eaten him. If they had, he hoped they hadn't eaten him alive. Why had he chosen the Sky River? Renardo never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? craft a sword now. It's going to be really short. needed bridges anyway. Was new. Most people still use doorknobs. who had built this castle, did they even know what monstrous weapon lay hidden within their walls? The Sky Ripper could destroy anything it touched, or so the legend said. As the Transcendent Emperor had fought the Lost Gods, thousands and thousands had died. But Renardo had been through wars. The only merciful war was a short one. He was 
in a swirl of newly remembered knowledge. He needed to focus. He needed some way to break the ice with this wall, so to speak. Can't we just agree to disagree, said Renato? No? Bernardo's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. Firewalls only let you through if they think you're hot enough. See? That wasn't so hard.
was starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. There it was. Skyripper's armature. The stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers' dreams, anyway. The device was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. But first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart. A core that had come to rest on the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him.